Coming up on News Channel 3 this morning, waves crashed the windows of a local restaurant and it's created quite the buzz. We got a chance to talk with the woman who shot this incredible viral video. And I'm Joe Butita in Hollywood at the Dolby Theater where the Oscars may be over, but the parties are still going strong. Live with Kelly and Michael now taking over the Oscar stage and we brought our very own fans to come check it out. News Channel 3 at 5 a.m. starts right now. Live up and down the coast, from the beaches to the valleys. At 5, this is KEYT News Channel 3, where the news comes first. Good morning, everyone. It's 5 a.m. March 3rd. I'm Sherman Roger. Joe, as you saw, is at the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. We're going to check in with him and bring you all the Oscar highlights. But first, hope you had a wonderful weekend. We definitely got a wet weekend in store, a lot of much-needed rain. And it looks like, though, the storm is behind us. Let's check in with Meredith to see what our Monday's looking like. Good morning. Thanks. Good morning, Sharon. Yeah, it's hard to believe we got all that rain this weekend, and now we're waking up this morning, and it's actually quiet. A little bit cloudy, though, like we saw all weekend long. We're seeing temperatures mostly in the 40s and the 50s. In fact, we're seeing 51 in Santa Maria, 52 in Slow at this hour, and a 52 in Lompoc. And you can see that cloud cover is just sitting over us. So we are going to continue to see this today as we get into the day, mostly cloudy skies. But the rain chances, very, very, very small for northern San Luis Obispo County and Santa Barbara County. But other than that, though, so we don't have any storms in the forecast for at least a week. So we'll go into all those details coming up a little bit later on, Sharon. All right, Meredith, thank you. And that storm definitely left quite the impact. We begin with spectacular video of a giant wave crashing into a Santa Barbara restaurant that's gone viral. It currently has more than 100,000 hits on YouTube. News Channel 3 reporter Victoria Sanchez caught up with a family who captured the moment that soaked diners eating breakfast. I just heard this big boom, and then I heard this all this glass shake, so I thought... Somebody threw down a cup or something like that. It wasn't a cup, but a giant wave. Duck. <laughs> Time to go. That calm voice you hear is Jesse's mom, Jill. Okay, yeah, that was good. Let's go. <laughs> the Freeland family had just finished up breakfast at Moby Dick restaurant, but the mother and son continued to watch the waves from their table, watching them get bigger and stronger. When the wave came through, I just popped up and, and got my coat and I was just ready to run out. Another person eating breakfast at the restaurant had his cell phone ready to go too. You can see people get drenched and water flood onto the floor. The broken window is now boarded up and the carpet is drying. Jill says although the video is compelling, it wasn't as bad as it looks. To me, it was, it was kind of exciting and I'm glad no one was hurt or it wouldn't be fun at all, but um, it was exciting. <laughs> Time to go. Aww. Here, it's okay. Everyone needs to Wow, pretty incredible video. We're so glad no one got hurt. And Mo Moby Dick Restaurant has since open was open on Sunday, just a section was closed due to the waves damage. So far, Jill Freeland's video has, again, over 100,000 hits on YouTube in less than 48 hours. Also, incredible images of the storm's impact on the Gaviota Pier. A Santa Barbara County man was one of the few people who was nearby when the pier broke apart. Check this out. Jack Croach of Solvang says he went out to check out the swells and high waves from the storm and was witness to the damage about 8 Saturday morning. Every time the waves kept coming, it would kind of sway more and more to the left until it finally broke away. And he was there for 10 minutes before he saw a big portion of the pier break away. And the pier at Avila Beach is closed this morning and will remain closed until it's safe to reopen. Crews were out scoping the pier yesterday and assessing the storm's damage. The pier was designed to break loose in damaging waves in an effort to keep the overall structure sound. If you look closely, you'll see the waves pushed up some of the deck boards, making it unsafe for people to walk on. We haven't seen anything quite this bad on the pier in a number of years. Uh, but we'll like to see if we can get some part of the pier reopened tomorrow, but it'll depend upon a materials inventory check. Officials say swimmers and surfers can go into the water at your own risk. And although the swells have dropped, there is still a possibility of riptides coming in and debris in the water, but it is safe to walk on the beach.
And now to the unrest in the Ukraine. Secretary of State John Kerry travels there tomorrow. He's going as Russian troops seem to have complete operational control in Crimea, where loyalties to Russia run deep. That's the word, at least. And an estimated 6,000 Russian troops moved in after an uprising ousted Ukraine's president. Martha Raditz has the very latest. There have been so many warnings hurled at Russia during this incredibly intense standoff. Warnings that there will be consequences, there will be costs. This morning, On this week, Secretary of State John uh, Kerry with very strong uh, words for uh, Vladimir Putin. Russia has uh, engaged in uh, a military act of aggression against another country. And it has huge risks. It's a 19th century act in the 21st century. The president is currently considering all options, they're all on the table. Secretary Kerry heading to Ukraine on Tuesday. President Obama did spend 90 minutes on the phone telling Putin to pull his forces back. But that phone call, in fact, none of the warnings seems to have done any good. Putin has sent in reinforcements, a senior administration official saying that Russian troops are clearly settling in. So right now you have the Russians occupying Crimea and what the U.S. and allies have done in response is to basically just cancel several meetings. There is talk of canceling the G8 summit or kicking Russia out, but that does not seem to scare Vladimir Putin. But the longer this goes on, the more uncertain this gets. There is just no telling how long Ukrainian forces will hold back. Martha Raditz, ABC News, Washington. A communist newspaper in China calls the March 1st stabbing attack at a train station China's 9-11. The death toll now stands at 29 with 130 people injured. Four suspects were killed at the scene. One woman was arrested. Five other suspects are on the loose. The terrorists are believed to be a Muslim minority at odds with the majority group in the region. And officials are afraid this attack could lead to backlash. Well, what a night in Hollywood. Ella DeGeneres was not only hilarious, but broke records and started new traditions. 12 Years a Slave took home big honors and some heartwarming acceptance speeches. Akito Fujito tells us who won what. 12 Years a Slave. Top honors for the slavery odyssey based on an 1853 memoir. Brad Pitt's production company produced Thank it. Thank you all. Thank you for this incredible honor you bestowed on our film tonight. The film also received a Best Supporting Actress nod, Lupita Nyong'o. It has been the joy of my life. Someone's Dallas Buyers Club, a Davis. drama about battling Jack AIDS in 1980s Texas, cleaned up in the male acting category. Jared Leto thanked his mother and made a special dedication. This is for the 36 million people who have lost the battle to AIDS. The movie's other star, Matthew McConaughey, took home the Best Actor trophy. The competition for Best Actress was tough this year. Kate Blanchett. Gravity triumphed as the night's top award winner, cleaning up in the technical categories and for Best Director. I want everybody to get up! And the Oscar stage turned into a concert with music's biggest stars performing the four best original song nominations. The pressure was also on Ellen DeGeneres, who returned as host for a second time. She handed out pizza to the audience. Ellen DeGeneres' goal of setting a retweet record with her star-studded selfie was achieved before the Oscars telecast was even over. Ellen DeGeneres getting a lot of praise for her second stint as Oscar host. And about that selfie, it got more than a million retweets. That's about 300,000 more than the previous record set by President Obama. Akiko Fujita, ABC News, Hollywood. Oh, what a great night. Ellen DeGeneres, she rocked the house so funny. Meanwhile, the Santa Barbara Film Club hosted its own Oscar night last night. The event at Red's Bar in the Funk Zone was sold out. Partygoers dressed up and took pictures on the mini red carpet. Then they went inside and enjoyed the food, some drinks, and watched Ellen host the Oscars. It's always a good time to have people out and watch the Oscars as a group. It's a little bit like the Super Bowl. People gather, people have rooting interests, people bet on this sometimes. We're around the world watching this tonight in places. <laughs> mm, how fun, right? This is the first time Red's Bar hosted an Oscar viewing party. Organizers hope they'll do it again next year.
Well, we gave our viewers a chance to win tickets to ride on the fun bus this morning and head to the Hollywood Boulevard for the Kelly and Michael after Oscars show. And that's where Joe is this morning with the lucky group rubbing elbows with the stars. Joe, good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Sharin. It's been a lot of fun here so far at the Dolby Theater. I'm standing right now on the grand staircase. You can actually see the red carpet. They just took it up right now, and there's some pieces left of it still here on the ground. And as we come this way, this is where all the stars walked in last night. Kate Blanchett, Leo DiCaprio, all the big winners. You still see the TV crews that are here this morning doing all their work. And now it's our turn. Now that the stars have vacated the Dolby Theater, it's our time to head in there. And we brought a whole fun bus full of people down to Hollywood from Santa Barbara. Santa Maria, Orchid, San Luis Obispo, Ventura. So we're heading this way. This is where all the magic for the Kelly and Michael show is going to be happening. And you see the security right here. This is where, <coughs> excuse me, 3,000 people are going to be in this theater this morning. It's going to be a lot of fun. And we walk right over here to the Dolby Theater. You can see all the folks inside the theater right now as we're getting ready. Kelly and Michael have invited all of us to come watch this today. It's going to be a lot of fun. They have big celebrities on there. Of course, they're going to be talking fashion. And uh, we're going to have a chance to talk to them later on today. And my real hope is that we can break uh, Ellen's selfie record. She had it retweeted, her selfie last night, the famous Oscar one. Yeah, it's over 2 million retweets already. Well, I'm going to take a selfie with Kelly and Michael today when we get to talk to them. And we're going to see how many retweets I get. I'm hoping for like 20. That might be a good one for me. 20 retweets would be great. Sharin, I'm going to toss it back to you, but we are live in Hollywood, and we're going to have much more tomorrow on News Channel 3 this morning with our great Fun Bus contestants and ticket winners. We'll send it back to you. Oh, so much fun. She yeah, is. you know, looks like a good Ellen time. broke records last night. She took a selfie with big A-list stars behind her. That selfie, over 2 million retweets. Just incredible. Let's help Joe. Let's, everyone, yeah. if you're on Twitter, you follow Sharin or I or Joe, let's exactly. get this going. Yeah, she also <laughs> served pizza last night, first for the Oscars. All right, 512 <laughs> still to come this morning. Protests are not just happening in the Ukraine, but demonstrators in Venezuela are clashing with guards over their unhappiness with the government. And Oscar Pistorius is back in the spotlight. He'll appear in court today for the shooting death of his girlfriend. The latest in his case, straight ahead. Thank goodness the rain has ended traffic back to normal for the most part. There's actually nothing on the CHB website this morning where on Friday it was loaded to the max. So drive safe out there this morning on your commute to work and as we kick off a new week, stay with us. You're watching News Channel 3 where the news comes first. Live, we're taking over the Oscar stage. I can't wait to get down there with all those stars. How do you let the air out of this thing? Wait, what? It's Live's After Oscar Show. At 9 after GMA on Channel 3. musical ever written returns to the stage where it all began wow! West Side Story at the Granada Theater March 18th and 19th tickets at the box office and theaterleague.com you should get braces you'd look so hot <laughs> I can't afford them Western Dental it's only $109 a month no down payment, even with poor credit. And the orthodontists are great, even doing this align. I can't miss school. Western's open evenings and Saturdays. Free consultations. Let's go. <sighs> I'm doing it. Call 1-800-6-DENTAL today. I'm a contractor. It's a good feeling to build something. I can build anything. I don't see it. Clients aren't always visual. So visual aids are important. Like brochures, posters, proposals. Oh, I see it. I have to look good. I print all my stuff at the UPS store down the street. They help me with everything. He likes it. Business is good. One of the best things about Cover California is that millions of people will qualify for financial assistance. For example, if you're a single person making less than $46,000 a year, or a family of four earning up to $94,200, you may be eligible for premium assistance. The lower your annual income, the greater financial assistance you will receive. 
Get answers and get covered. Find out if you're eligible and enroll now at CoveredCA.com. Good morning. We definitely got much needed rainfall up and down the coast. Here are some of the rain totals that have came in since Wednesday. Almost five inches from the last two storms at Slow. Five inches almost in Santa Ynez. Just over four inches in Goleta, Santa Barbara. 5.73 inches and as we are talking we need to be at 11 inches for average so we're catching up but unfortunately there's no rain in our forecast anytime soon just some clouds today we are going to see those temperatures this morning in the 40s and the 50s and then for the day we are going to see slightly warmer temperatures and some patchy fog so the complete forecast is coming up in a little bit Sharon. All right, Meredith, we'll check back in with you. Thank you. Well, making world headlines, Oscar Pistorius also known as the Blade Runner will be on trial today for the shooting death of his girlfriend. New images of Pistorius and his girlfriend caught on tape a little more than a week before her death imply they were a loving couple. A dedicated cable channel has been launched just to cover these proceedings. Pistorius claims he thought an intruder was in the home and he acted out of self-defense. He faces a possible life sentence. Small groups of protesters clashed with security forces in Caracas on Sunday. This follows a march by thousands of anti-government activists demonstrating against the Venezuelan president, Nicolas Maduro. The clashes have become a near nightly ritual since mid-February. Many people are fed up with crippling inflation, shortages of food and medicine, and unchecked violent crime. And government mismanagement of the economy in a nation with the world's largest proven oil reserves. According to the government, count 18 people have been killed and more than 250 injured since February 12th. All right, 516 still to come this morning. The big waves may be causing some trouble and damages at local piers and restaurants, but it's also attracting the best surfers around the world. We'll show you the best places in town to catch those waves. And Ellen DeGeneres broke Twitter with her ultra-popular selfie picture. And Apple TV is now a billion-dollar investment. And you can search Google Hands free. That's coming up in our tech report. Stay with us. Good morning, everybody. We're taking a look at your traffic right now. No rain, no problems out on the roadway. So if you're heading north on the 101 up into San Luis Obispo County or down south into Ventura County, there are no major accidents to report at this hour. Stay with us. You're watching News Channel 3 where the news comes first. Let the Vein Clinic of Santa Barbara help end your suffering from unsightly and painful varicose veins and spider veins. We specialize in state-of-the-art vein treatments and an array of cosmetic procedures. We are also the only clinic in Santa Barbara that offers surface laser sclerotherapy, a revolutionary new way to treat your spider veins. And our platelet-rich plasma skin rejuvenation will give your face a more youthful appearance. Call the Vein Clinic of Santa Barbara at 845-2500 or visit fabulouslegs.com. Welcome to Vandenberg Air Force Base for a one-hour in-crowd special when Chef Ghazali salutes the men and women of Vandenberg. Thanks to the generous sponsorship of the Chumash Casino Resort and the Santa Barbara Design Center, you'll experience everything from cooking with the commander to learning about the next rocket launch. Tune in on March 22nd at 6.30 as we thank the airmen at Vandenberg for their service to our country. I needed a job, a good paying job, a job with a future. In less than six months, CET taught me the skills that I needed for the career I wanted, a career with a future. There are no quarters or semesters here. You start when you're ready. And you learn at your own pace. Why settle for less? Get the training you need for that high paying job you want. CET offers financial aid and job placement assistance. Lots of skills to choose from. Do your dream. Call CET today. When news breaks, the largest news gathering team on local television gets you there, live, no matter where, no matter when. Tracy Lair has been on scene all night We're, we're hearing some shots fired. News Channel 3, where the news comes first.
Good morning. Thanks for joining us on this Monday. We're so happy to be here with you after a very rainy and wet, stormy weekend. Temperatures are in the 40s and 50s as you head out the door this morning, but mostly we're seeing some cloud cover, not though so much in Ventura and Santa Barbara. And you can see this huge area of clouds just sitting over us right now from Paso Robles down to Lompoc, even a little bit into Ventura County. And we're going to see that as we have the onshore flow bringing some of those low clouds over us. And that's how it's going to be today. Let's move the clock ahead to noon. You'll notice a little bit of breaks in the clouds, but for the most part, mostly cloudy skies for Santa Barbara County up to the north. Now, as we go into your commute home, it stays dry. A little bit of a wave up to our north, bringing some rain to San Francisco, but we're just going to see clouds with that. And then as we move tomorrow morning into your noon lunch hour, a little bit less cloud cover, still going to see some, so we'll have partly sunny skies, but the rain forecast for the most part is gone. Now, because of that system up to our north, San Luis Obispo County, in northern Santa Barbara County. You may get a sprinkle or a light sh rain shower tonight into tomorrow morning, but for the most part, we stay dry. All the rain stays again up to our north as we move into Wednesday, but we start to clear up and we'll see temperatures warm up as well. In fact, today's forecast, mostly 60s across the board, which is slightly warmer than yesterday. And here's what we can expect in your neighborhoods. We'll take a look at Santa Barbara. Here's your seven day first. As I mentioned, the winds are going to start to kick back up as we get into tomorrow and into Wednesday, but we get back into the 70s, so we are out of the mid and low 60s, and then we'll see those warm temperatures continue and make for a great start to next weekend. A little bit of fog this morning in Santa Maria. Otherwise, we'll see mostly cloudy skies today, and the breezy conditions and the sunny skies will continue as we get into the weekend. But 70s, almost 80 degrees in Santa Maria by the weekend when we get that strong offshore flow kicking back in. And same thing for San Luis Obispo. We're going to be right around average for the week. Have 20% chance of showers on Thursday, so very slight. But as we get into the weekend, we'll see daytime highs top out in the upper 70s to close to 80s degrees in some areas. Ventura, here's your seven-day forecast. You stay very dry all week, and we'll see that sunshine pick back up, especially in full force on Wednesday. And then again, Friday, Saturday into Sunday. So a completely different weekend forecast for us as we head into this weekend. Sure. All right, Meredith, thank you. What a change, right? Okay, 522, time now for this morning's Tech Bytes report. Here's John Muller. In today's Tech Bytes, Ellen breaks Twitter. A selfie of Oscar host Ellen DeGeneres, best supporting actor winner Jared Leto, and other celebrities that she sent out during the show is now the most retweeted message ever. And for a while, the volume brought Twitter to a standstill. Apple TV is now a $1 billion a year venture, and CEO Tim Cook says that makes it more than just a hobby for the tech company. The billion dollars includes both the $99 boxes and the content viewers purchased while using it. And you can now do a hands-free search on Google. The beta version of Chrome browser allows voice searches. You say, OK, Google, and then the search terms. You can also set a timer or create a reminder. And NASA is out with pictures that look like they could have come straight from seven-time Oscar winner Gravity. The pictures show astronauts working on the International Space Station and Earth as it's seen from space. Cool stuff. Those are your Tech Bites. I'm John Muller. Mm. Incredible images. 523 still to come this morning. Surf's up, especially with the big waves recently. The best surfers around the world are coming to our local waters. We'll tell you when. The day we rescued Riley was a truly amazing day. He was a matted mess in a small cage. So that was our first task, was getting him to wellness. Without Angie's List, I don't know if we could have found all the services we needed for O'Reilly. From contractors and doctors to dog sitters and landscapers, you can find it all on Angie's List. We found Riley the shelter. We found everything he needed at Angie's List. Join today at Angie'sList.com. The most effective class of treatment for nasal allergies are 24-hour prescription nasal sprays. And now, one's available without one. New Nasacort. It relieves your worst nasal allergy symptoms, even congestion, for 24 hours. Nasacort stops more of what makes you miserable. What in the world? <laughs> hey, Tommy, what kind of toilet paper does your mom buy? Quilted Northern Ultra Plush. Ah, oh. Quilted Northern, a silky clean you just can't resist. Perhaps the greatest musical ever written. 
returns to the stage where it all began. Oh! West Side Story. At the Granada Theater, March 18th and 19th. Tickets at the box office and theaterleague.com. Hey, hey, you, love you need car insurance, right? Minute, Did, yeah, we can I save you tons of money. Tons of, money. tons of it. Confusing, isn't it? You know what's crystal clear, Jennifer? Comparenow.com. Comparenow is the only place you can get real, unbiased comparisons for car insurance. Because Comparenow doesn't sell car insurance. They simply compare everyone else's so you know you're getting the best deal. Crystal clear comparisons. Indeed, Jennifer. Indeed. They don't let me drive. But when I do, I like to drive away. Don't try this at home. Back-to-back -back Truck of the Year, the Ram 1500 kicks off Ram Truck Month in style, and you can own a piece of this Americana today. 2014 Ram 1500, now only $19,999. 2014 Jeep Cherokee, only $219 a month. Crown Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep, and Ram for 35 years, a name you can trust. Colon cancer is the third leading cause of cancer death, but it's treatable if it's detected early. I know firsthand how important early detection is. Not only am I a nurse, but I'm a colon cancer survivor. And I'm here today because I was proactive about being screened. If you're age 50 or older, you should be screened for colon cancer as well. It doesn't always have symptoms, so screening is the best way to detect colon cancer in its early stages, when treatment is most effective. Attend a free information and screening event to learn more. Do it for your family. Do it for yourself. I'm sure glad I did. Right after the stars win their Oscars, the only morning show right there waiting for them is... Good morning, America. That's right. What you don't see on the Oscars, you'll see here. Including All Access with Matthew McConaughey's leading lady and Inside the Governor's Ball. This morning, the party's here. 526, welcome back, everybody. Hope you had a great weekend. And the big waves are attracting some of the best surfers in the world to our beaches. And even if the waves don't look that pretty, News Channel 3 reporter Jim Murray actually ran into Santa Barbara native and three-time surfing world champion Tom Curran. He took a second to talk to us about surfing Santa Barbara's sand spit or sand bar, depending on who you ask. I've surfed here for many years. And, uh, when it's good, it's one of the best waves around, for sure. And Sandspit is a favorite spot used by surfers, kayakers, and boogie boarders. All right, time now is 527. Still to come, the unrest in the Ukraine has gotten even worse. And now, with Russia's involvement, tensions are higher than ever. We have the latest out of Kiev. And Blade Runner Oscar Pistorius will appear in court today for the shooting death of his model girlfriend. We'll give you details on what some might consider to be the biggest trial of South African history.